I also have a Twitch channel. Head on over there for more roleplay advice and other fun stuff. INTs are quiet analysts. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about INTJs and INTPs. Yes, this is our first actual MBTI types video. So if you missed my first one on the MBTI history and explanation, I will link that up in the card. Go watch that first. That will give you everything that you need to know to understand what we're talking about today. We're going to talk about our two INT types. And remember, MBTI is primarily a workplace tool, and you can use it to figure out how a character acts, reacts, makes decisions, or what they notice in their environment. The first letter of your MBTI is either E for extroversion or I for introversion. This is your favorite world. Do you prefer to focus on your outer world or your inner world? Those who prefer introversion expend their energy through action. They prefer to reflect, then act, and then reflect again. To rebuild their energy, introverts need time alone, away from activity. The second letter is either S for sensing or N for intuition. This defines how you process information. Do you prefer to focus on the basic information you take in, or do you prefer to interpret information and add meaning? Those who prefer intuition tend to focus less on the information that they get through their actual senses and instead on how information connects to other information. They may be more interested in future possibilities. For them, meaning is inherent in the theory and how the data reflects that theory. The third letter is either T for thinking or F for feeling. This is how you make decisions. Do you first look at logic and consistency, or do you first look at people in special circumstances? People who prefer thinking tend to decide things from a more detached standpoint. They measure decisions by what seems logical, consistent, and matches a given set of rules. INTs are quiet analysts. They use their intuition to discover those underlying theories. Then they reflect on those theories in their inner world. They apply what they learn from this process in a logical manner. The difference between the two types we're going to talk about today is the final letter, J for judging or P for perceiving. This is how you deal with the outside world. Do you prefer to decide things or stay open to new information? INTJs are known as architects. Those who prefer judging feel most comfortable when they have a plan, and they would rather come up with five backup plans than deal with events as they come, preferring to consider their options ahead of time. Personality types with this trait prefer clarity and closure, sticking to the plan rather than going with the flow. Combine this with their INT nature of being quiet analysts, and that means INTJs are always quietly plotting, scaffolding their next move to maximize their goals. Architects are rational, informed, independent, determined, curious, and versatile. But they're also arrogant, dismissive, overly critical, combative, and romantically clueless. MBTI was developed for the workplace, so let's look at how INTJs handle their career. More than any other personality type, INTJs are brilliant when it comes to grasping complex theories and applying them to problems to come up with long-term strategies. Since this type of strategizing is the central focus and drive of the INTJ personality type, there's a happy match between desire and ability in this type. Accordingly, the INTJ is happiest and most effective in careers that allow this type of processing and that promote an environment in which the INTJ is given a lot of autonomy over their daily lives. They may struggle in the beginning of their career because most entry-level jobs don't allow for the autonomy that they crave. However, over time, things will get easier for them. They need to first find their place and then continually challenge their analytical mind with new ideas and problems. They make great scientists, engineers, medical doctors, corporate strategists, business administrators, military leaders, attorneys, or computer programmers. INTPs are known as logisticians. Those who prefer perceiving are much more flexible when it comes to dealing with unexpected challenges. And this flexibility helps them seize unexpected opportunities as well. 
This personality tends to react to their environment as opposed to trying to control it, meaning that they tend to make luck out of wherever the world throws their way. People with this trait hold that life is full of possibilities. Combine this with the INT nature of quiet analysts, and INTPs might not seem like they're paying attention, but as soon as an opportunity comes their way, they are all over it. Logisticians are abstract thinkers, imaginative, open-minded, enthusiastic, objective, and honest. But they're also withdrawn, insensitive, absent-minded, condescending, can't follow the rules, and second-guess themselves. MBTI was developed for the workplace, so let's see how INTPs handle their career. INTPs have a special gift with generating and analyzing theories and possibilities to prove or disprove them. They have a great deal of insight and are creative thinkers. This allows them to quickly grasp complex abstract thoughts. They also have exceptional logical and rational reasoning skills, which allows them to thoroughly analyze theories to discover the truth about them. Since the INTP is driven to seek clarity in the world, we have a happy match of desire and ability in this personality type. INTPs will be happiest in a career that allows them a great deal of autonomy, in which they can work primarily alone on developing and analyzing complex theories and abstractions, with the goal of their work being the discovery of a truth, rather than the discovery of a practical application. Unfortunately, a lot of the corporate and service jobs that we tend to have in the Western world don't really fit logisticians. They prefer to be dug down deep in their data and not talk to anyone about it. So, while they might be really good at the technical parts of their job, when it comes to the part of the job where they have to communicate that value to others, they might have some career stumbles. They make great physicists, chemists, photographers, mathematicians, technical writers, forensic researchers, park rangers, or mechanics. While architects are the guys with the big plans running the lab or technical team, the logisticians are those that are actually working in the lab with the data day to day. So that's INTJs and INTPs. Do you have an INT character or after watching this video, are you inspired to make one? Let me know down below all about your INTJs and INTPs. And don't forget as always to make it a great day. Thank you.